Yes, we know it's five o'clock. Yay! <laughs> we did it. You guys are awesome. I love seeing like the chat just going like in the countdown. It it's gets me awesome. so excited. Can everybody see us? Can so, you see me? Because there's a delay on my iPad, so can I don't know me? if everybody can see us yet. Let's see. Keeping it real over 50. 50 and dinner ideas. That's amazing. Let's move that up a little bit. Let's see. I see us in out of the corner of my eye. Fajita Friday over at Hungry Heaths. Ooh. I like that. Leftover chili and keto cornbread. Yum. A fajitas like just says chilies in the 90s to me right that was everything remember when they would like pull out that skillet and like bring it to your table and you were like oh my gosh we're so fancy fajitas that's the one reason i don't go to mexican because pretty much mexican food that's the only thing you can get if you go to a mexican restaurant now and me yeah. i could never decide when i went to a mexican restaurant so i always bought the combination platter and if they didn't have a combination platter i wasn't going there well here's the funny thing it all tasted the same to me Usually. Not, not me. It was a mixture, a blend of cheese and meat. So what's going on, everybody? Welcome to day seven of the 12 days of serving. Today yes. was bless your cashier. We are in, we're in the two zero, sir. Yeah. The two zero. <laughs> like now I still have the nephews to buy for for Christmas. Did you see the things I sent you on I Amazon? I did, but I don't know if they're going to like Those are Legos. That. They're like Legos, but they're not real Legos, which means that they're affordable. Right. But but they were like seven or 800 pieces, but they formed like cars, which then formed transformers. And one of them is an actual robot. Well, I'm starting to stress out because we're now we're at the point where we are beyond Amazon being able to reach us. No, I got to, if you order today, Amazon will Christmas deliver morning. on Sunday. So tomorrow is pretty much your cutoff for Amazon. Maybe Sunday if it's like a next day thing, a one day thing. So. Yeah. So what's going on, everyone? I'm ordering your present now. We're getting universal tickets. That's what we're getting. Okay. Only I'm, I'm not even getting that. the season passes. Okay. I'm, I'm not getting the seasonal pass. I'm getting the full pass. Be the full what? pass, because here's why. The full pass is $50 more wait, per person. Wait, wait, wait. You couldn't have this discussion with me on Christmas morning? No. You have to tell me now? Yeah. We're so close. We were so close to no. me not knowing because what my I gotta justify was. why instead of getting the ticket that's two hundred and fifty dollars, <sighs> I'm getting the one that's three hundred dollars. Well, I won't even know. Yeah, well, it comes down to parking. One includes parking and one doesn't include parking. And parking's usually expensive. The parking is twenty five dollars a person a, a day. So like if you go two days, you've just paid for the ticket. And if we don't go two days, we lose our money anyway because the believe it or not. Universal Studios Florida, which has two different parks, if you want a one-day ticket to go to both parks, and you have to go to both parks, because right. especially if you want to experience the Harry Potter stuff, uh, it's $150. So we only have to go twice in the entire year to pay for itself. We can do it. I think we can do that. So uh, let's look at some I know. of the comments. Thank you, Yvette. You what? just spoiled Christmas. No, I didn't. Every year. Don't worry about Every it. Every single year. No. I can't, I can't wait for Christmas. So Anne was first today. Everybody likes Yay! making sure they were first. Welcome, Anne. And uh, also, hey guys, uh, if you go to the website, twocrazyketos.com, on the very front page, there is a link to the subscriber tree for uh, the vote. ornaments. So just go vote yeah. on what some of your favorite ornaments are. You can vote three times a day. I believe you can't vote for the same ornament more than once, though. It's anonymous, right? I, yeah, it's anonymous. I can't figure out how to make it that you can vote on the same ornament once a day. So if... It, so if You can vote on three ornaments... Per day, but I don't think you can vote on the same ornament. So twice. if your husband or wife picked the ornament that you sent, but you want to vote for somebody else's ornament, go to you another can do computer. That. You can you can do that. And they won't know. It tracks your computer and your IP address. So just go to work. Go to your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, John said, I got my 2K Cape Lender bottle in the mail this afternoon. Awesome. Very nice. That's good. Well, thanks for letting us know that too, yes. because um, those are probably the most prayed over bottles and pieces of mail in general. KJ it's says, my like, blender, we'll my bottle there. hasn't been scanned since Pompano Beach. If, if you only ordered one, it's sent out first class mail. So they don't do the whole scan and track thing with right. first class mail, usually. So uh, if you ordered more than one, it went out priority mail. Okay. Okay. Hopefully. I'm um, stress. 
Every, like, it's it's good. You get stre- sweaty armpits until everybody gets their Keto, stuff. Keto City, keeping it real over 50, said I need to go check my mail. Yay. John said I'm in Central Florida, so it took only a day to get to me. Yeah. Ooh, nice. That's, that's why. Ooh, when we go to Central Florida, we're going to have to hook up. That's right. Get some meat You're starting to sound a little like, you know, hook up. No, you know? like eat some barbecue or have some Five Guys. Don't they have Fuddruckers in Orlando? Uh, there's one, the one that I know of. Yes. Chris said uh, Hi, Chris. meat or bathtub keto chow ice cream. Rachel had bathtub keto chow ice cream I last night. I did have bathtub keto chow ice cream. Oh, you had it today too, didn't I you? did. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it two days in a row. But here's what happens is that I usually don't even – it. the mornings have been so busy that I don't even have time to get a shower or eat until like an hour before the live stream. So, I mean, I'm clean – but uh, yeah, I have to. I have to. I have to multitask. MJ is about to make a batch of crispy Cajun crappy and coleslaw spicy fish covered in pork rinds. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh man, that sounds good. Tara's having egg salad because she's tired and the husband has leftover chili. I love egg salad. Egg salad is a solid go-to for me. Also, chicken salad. Like just using canned chicken. I love chicken salad. Uh, let's see. MJ said, uh, my dad has retired and fishes a lot, so I get a lot of fish from him. Ooh, nice. I love fresh fish. Tara's, I'm not a fish eater. Tara's watching us on TV. Hey, Tara. Uh, let's see. Miriam said, uh, egg salad sounds so good. I love egg salad. I'm just too often lazy to make the mayo. The mayo takes 30 seconds, Miriam. (laughs) Sometimes you have to get the jar out. You have to get the immersion blender out. There's some steps. Chris said, if I was home right now, I'd make the pumpkin spice keto chow sausage soup. That sounds so good. By the way, I like the cartoon, Chris. I like the little animation cartoon. Did you see it? I did not. It's on Facebook. You can go look on Facebook, the new little animation. It's like Chris in a wagon going down and like getting on the wagon. Oh, how cute. It's awesome. Rebecca said she re- received the fresh jack she won 30 minutes ago. She's super excited. Awesome. What is the seasoning that you think you'll try first? I don't even know which ones was in there. Uh, Miriam said the, the pumpkin sausage soup is so yummy. We're going to make that. Danny just made the keto cheese. It's pretty good, but I didn't make them thin enough. Okay. We well, can keep rolling, rolling, rolling. <sighs> Uh, let's see. Tara said she always stucks up on Primal Kitchen Mayo when it's on sale, so I don't have to mayo, make mayo if I don't want to. We yeah. do the same thing. When it goes on sale, I buy a couple of jars, and I keep them, like, in the back of the cabinet. So if there's a situation where, like, hey, I don't feel like making mayo, or I, maybe I'm out of avocado oil. That's my biggest thing is get running out of avocado oil because yeah. it's the only oil we stock in the house, and Anthony, like, just burns through that stuff. So... Well, we had some fun. I I was thinking about buy one, get ones. Because one time I did find that Primal Kitchen Mayo was on buy one, get one. One time at Publix. It was a good week. It was a really good week for mayonnaise. Yeah. Um, But we started shopping for Christmas dinner today. Yep. We figured we would brave the grocery store. We wanted to bless the cashier anyway. So there we went. And guess what? We found out that we're doing a lot more Christmas morning breakfast stuff. That's just what people want in our home. I don't know what you guys do for Christmas morning. It used to be that all of the food was post opening the Christmas presents, but sometimes when you have a big family, it takes so long to open up those Christmas presents that like we can't wait right. for dinner. Right. So we've started doing uh, the breakfast thing and there's a lot of good deals on sausage, on um, ham, all kinds of breakfast. I, I may break out the bacon that I'm making. I'm thinking We that, bought a lot of bacon, though. Yeah, but I'm thinking the bacon that I'm making with the recipe that Christopher sent me, 10 days will be on Monday. Well. So I'm going to... I have it broken in because I bought a nine and a half pound slab of pork belly. Thank you, Christopher. So I cut it into two pieces. It's vacuum sealed. I did check it. It's nice and hard. So it it probably could even go now, but I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it cure until Monday. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, oh, that reminds me. I got to go buy a cold smoking tube. Um, I should do that now. Who says that? Uh, I'm going to smoke it on Monday or maybe even even Tuesday, which would give us fresh bacon for for Christmas morning. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because it falls on Wednesday this year. Yeah. 
But, and then we're doing ribeyes, which I'm not a huge ribeye fan to begin with. I'm just not a huge steak person. I'd rather Who have a nice, guy? juicy burger. Just, I like my burgers. Steak. Like my burgers. So we are getting ribeyes, and I just looked that uh, Whole Foods has pasture-raised ribeyes on sale for ten ninety nine a pound. Wow, that's so actually very competitive. I'm gonna go buy on probably Tuesday morning. Yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna reserve them, and I'm gonna get all. I think what are we getting? Eight ribeye steaks. And you're going to get some and cowboy I'm, burgers? And then I'm getting burger. I'm making nice, like, grass-fed, grass-finished burgers. That's what I want. What do you guys like? Are you hamburger or steak? Chris wants to see you say anonymous again. It was fantastic. Anonymous. <laughs> it's actually anonymous, but it's like aluminum foil. I can actually say aluminum foil. Like, there's so many things I can't say, but aluminum foil is not it. Aluminum foil. Aluminum foil. There's aluminum another foil. word. Concrete is what I always like. Concrete. There's, now, there's another word that you never say. Concrete? I don't remember what it is now. Concrete, that's not normally how you say it. Concrete. Uh, Heather said Phil can't keep, keep, keep her gifts a secret either. I'm, I swear, Phil, myself, and Chris were three peas in a pod. How cute we're is that? We're all the same. Oh, my gosh. All right, Na we're getting shirts. Nav said our daughter three actually really likes natural strawberry. I was worried about that one after yesterday. Good. I'm glad that she liked it. Uh, Rachel said, vote for your favorite ornament. Thank you, Rachel. Rachel, you rock. Heather's having keto chow ice cream for supper. Yum. Uh, Katie said, you all going to have to have a contest that I can win. I'm going to be running low soon. Uh oh, yes. Katie, were you, you were on yesterday. We have the one that we're doing on Tuesday. Yeah, we've got one on Tuesday. We've got an alternative suites. Yes, you want to do that? Do. Let's yes. do that. So if, if you guys were on yesterday, nobody ever claimed the prize for the Alterna Suites that we gave away during the 12 days of Christmas or 12 days of keto. So we're picking the winner out of yesterday. Pick a winner. So I've already got this here. So here we go. Here we go. How many people? Okay. There are. I'm excited because it should be like not that many. So we're doing Alterna Suites first. 105. So 105. So whoever wins has to let it has to contact us by tomorrow morning. They will. They have They're to awesome. otherwise I'm using it myself. No. We won't. You ready? Ed. Ed. Ed, I know Yay. Ed is going to contact us. Ed said, "Joe, did you read about the data breach at Wawa? I already talked to him. Yeah, Wawa had a huge data breach like going way back to like February." Rot row, I bought Wawa gas yesterday. Yeah, but I think they've resolved it now. But I use my credit card and not my debit card. So, Ed, do me a favor. Send us an email at twocrazyketos at gmail.com. And then we will have Jared and Misty send you out your alternative suite. Congratulations, Mr. Ed. We oh, wait, Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed. We also have one more keto crate to give away. So, you ready? Yes. Ed can't win it. this one, though, because right. we, already, we, already we already went won down something. by one. You ready? Here we Pick go. Pick a winner. It's Teal. teal. Teal yes. Elliott won. So Teal, same thing. Do us a favor. I actually have Teal's address. Okay. Uh, but do me a favor and confirm and send me an email at twocrazyketos at gmail.com. And we will send this out to you. I love it. So, okay. Let Fun. me get back to that main screen. Awesome sauce. Has this been in the freezer? It's yes. been in the freezer. Anybody tried this yet? I'm curious if anybody's tried this before we even open this up. If they're like, it's not birthday let cake. Let me get up to the birthday cake. Here. Heath wants to know, are you, how are you going to make crisp, a crispy, crappy keto? I want to know that, too. There's, It's non-keto food that's usually crispy and crappy. Yeah. <laughs> April said, hey, Rachel and Joe from South Georgia. Hey. Uh, South Georgia. I bet it's beautiful there. Janice just ate a chaffle liverwurst sandwich. Yummy. That's a brave person. You are a brave person. Did you use cream cheese? That is. It's awesome. Okay, it's geez. a game changer. MJ said the breading is pork rinds, Parmesan cheese, and Cajun seasoning. It's adhered to the fish fillets with mayonnaise. That's oh, really good. Oh, wow. That sounds really good. Yeah. Miriam said that they do giveaways once a month on Facebook and Instagram for Keto Chow. Yeah. Every Tuesday night at 930 our time, Eastern Standard, I don't know what it is, their time, 7? Mm -hmm. They do a live stream. Yeah. Uh, 630. Okay. I'm totally wrong. No. 730. 7.30. 8.30. Yeah, it's 9.30 are, our time. Are, are we, are, 
So Vicky said cleaning out the mayo out of the immersion blender blade is a pain. It is a little bit of pain. Best thing to do is get a little tiny rubber spatula and then you can kind of go under the blades or you can just kind of be like me and just take your fingers and go You've inside. You've been sticking your fingers in my keto chow? No. Oh. Your mayonnaise. Oh, my mayonnaise. Have you, wait. <laughs> Have you been sticking your fingers in my mayonnaise? Rachel said, hey, keto chow, what's your Facebook address? Just Google, uh, go on a Facebook and search for keto chow. It'll come up. It's mommy's like, on it's like xyz hey, night mommy. heather said keto cindy uh you won't regret it super easy and yummy thank you uh tara is going to the grocery early tomorrow morning i'm usually up by six on the weekends anyway you know it's nice you get in there early everything is freshly stocked it's it's good we went when i was dropping off caleb this morning we went to costco and it was packed by 10 10 yo like packed and we just parked into the hinterlands. I don't even go near the front. I don't just park go near all the, the front. Window. Bring an umbrella. It's on the opposite side of the gas station. Pair of park. pajamas. Yeah. Chris Take said the best part of winter is cold smoking. Unfortunately, that's about the only time you can cold smoke down here. And even there, you really got to be like picky on the day because you can't really cold smoke if the temperature is over 75 degrees. So we've got about 10 days a year that we can actually cold smoke right. Well, here's the thing. I can add that to my prayer. Lord, please, we've got to cold smoke. Well, you can do bacon with a hot smoke. Uh, Heather Don't said tell a, him. a big tell fatty him ribeye. I decided what I want for Christmas for mommy. Ribeye. I think I want to get a dehydrator. A dehydrator? I don't know. I, I might. Don't buy it. Like, I will look for the right one. I, I don't want to. Just give me the money so I, I can I was going to say, it. I don't think I want to spoil anything for it, but I think that she gave up trying to figure out what you would want, <laughs> and there may be a monetary gift. That's good. Don't worry. I'll spend it. Gift certificates are probably the best For option. me, usually. We should probably do that for the nephews. I'm numb. I, I won't do gift certificates for the kids, and I won't do them for the nephews because, oh my gosh, the cat's back. She's like in love with live streaming. April said, I love steaks too, but burgers are right there for us. Wow. St uh, Nev said she's a steak and burger kind of girl. Two. Gail Both. likes ribeyes and burgers. Ribeyes. Jackie's doing ribeyes for Christmas. Yum. You know, I it's so funny. There's a lot of times people will even when they talk about what they're eating for Christmas and it's and it's not turkey and it's not ham, it's anything else. It's like, is that okay? And I'm like, well, it's your house. Like you can eat whatever you want. Some people do like lasagna. And I'm like, yeah, make the keto lasagna. Lasagna is delicious. Absolutely. Lasagna and putting Lego sets together. Playing card games? Chris said, we had steaks last night at a place that served it on a 600 degree rock. Take it off when it's right done this. They had a sign that it was 100% vegetarian fed beef. I saw that. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's 100% vegetarian. No, he said 100% like, vegetarian fed beef. Well, all beef is vegetarian. Yeah, you don't see a lot of them eating chicken wings. Uh, April had ribeyes for lunch today. No. Oh, wow, that's an incredible lunch. That's awesome. Uh, everybody's saying congrats, Mr. Ed. You guys are so nice. Okay. I love when you guys congratulate winners. MJ's like silly crappy is a type of saltwater fish. Yes. Uh, Tara said Oliver and I shared some cheese for lunch today. Actually, he took what he wanted. Ooh, speaking of cheese, I get cheese. I mean, I know we're going to eat cake, but I get cheese. Chris said I need to work. Don't do cheese. We're doing this before no. it gets warm. Oh, we'll open it up, I was sir. trying to see if anybody else had it first. Chris needs to get whack on the live broadcast schedule. Um, she, uh, Autumn is broadcasting every day live at 9.30 right now. I don't yeah. know if she's continuing it into January, but I know she's doing it right now. Yeah, right now she's 9.30 in the morning. Chris, I need the results of that so we know what day and time to make our weekly lives. We'll move I think on. we were talking about Wednesdays at 9 o'clock or 9.30 or something Our like time. That. Our time. But you, I need to get confirmation from you to make sure we're not interfering with anybody else. What if it turns out that we have to do it at 12.45 in the, in the morning our time? Erin said, she, Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm making Keto Child thumbprint cookies with raspberry jam. I saw that. I want to make wow, those. Wow. Those seem fun, too. Heath loves the Ernesto dehydrator. I really like we can add extra trays as needed. I used to have that one years ago, but honestly, your post the other day when you were making the beef jerky now, is what made me want it. I knew that was going to happen because I saw, in your photos. I'm out of, like, gadgets to buy. Drool-worthy photos. I feel like if you would like to onboard your entire family to go keto just have them look at hungry heat's pictures yeah of the meat that is being cooked it's so delicious looking like just 
That, that'll do it. Katie said, can anybody advise me about an org name Keto Adapted? I'm unfamiliar with them, but saw the name on Google. Keto Adapted. Uh, Nav said, uh, in my defense, I'm a Texas girl. Texan isn't normal. If they don't eat steak, the bigger the better. So, so is everybody ribeye people? Do, do people like other cuts better? Like, don't not sirloin. Sirloin's a little tough for me. But what well, other pens? Delmonico. Liz, I am actually in New York. I like New York strips better Lank than steaks. ribeyes because there's still a decent amount of fat on a New York strip. Uh, but it's not like all inside of it. And I feel like I get a lot more food for my like calories because a ribeye, you know, you're talking about like that's most of your calories for the day but when you eat a so, one pound ribeye. It's totally worth it. So, yeah, they're like, get go get a five pound pork belly. I'm like, do you realize like a piece of pork belly like that big is like 500 calories, right? That is definitely where we are splurging on Christmas. We're getting pork belly, and I'm very excited about it. Okay, that. so we're going to eat these, but um, Liz wants to know, where is the best meat deal between Sam's or BJ's? I have honestly never shot meat deals at Sam's. BJ's does have good meat deals, though. Yes. I've never looked at Sam's Club. Okay, you want to try this? So we got this in Keto Crate? Yeah. Keto Crate or Keto Box? I don't remember. I don't know. Keto. I want to say it was the Keto Box. I want to say it was... I think it's the Keto Box. The keto I don't box. remember. It's the Cookie Department Keto Fully Functional Cookies, Birthday Cake, and Sprinkles. Uh-huh. I think it's Keto Box. And it says, you can have your cake and eat it too. It's your party if you if, if you can eat cookies if you want to because the Cookie Department's Cake Walk only has one gram of sugar and three net carbs. Um, so it has monk fruit blend, which is a resveratrol and monk fruit extract, grass-fed, unsalted butter, eggs, prebiotic fiber, which is tapioca syrup, yeah. Um, <laughs> eggs, uh, heavy cream powder, sprinkles. I just uh, thought it was cabbage funny. Cabbage extract, like turmeric extract, cabbage, rad radish. radish extract, baking soda, xanthan gum. So, what was? Why did we put this in the freezer? Because it's supposed to taste better. Oh, it's supposed to taste like birthday cake if you put it in the cool. freezer. So, if you eat the whole cookie, it's two hundred and thirty calories, seventeen total carbohydrates, five fibers, nine sugar alcohols. So I'm not eating the whole cookie. No. It's crumbly. It is crumbly. It looks very buttery. I'll give them that. Does it, what does that smell like? It smells like birthday cake. Maybe that, the frosting. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. It tastes like birthday cake frosting, but not as sweet. It's it okay. It does but taste like birthday cake, but you know, like. It's honestly like every other keto cookie erythritol and almond flour with a flavoring of like, it's okay. It's not, it does taste it ain't like. It worth the carbs to me. It does taste like the frosting, but like when you'd it's get got, a birthday cake that was kind of. Yeah, it's an almond flour erythritol cookie that, that kind of tastes a little bit like frosting. But like not the great kinds. It's it's not worth the carbs if you ask me. You um, know what it reminds me of? What? When we would get up early on a kid's birthday and be like, "Crap, we forgot the birthday cake." You're and we have supposed to, to say "crap" on a live stream. Sorry. And we would run to Walmart and get one that was like on clearance. <laughs> Tastes like that. Okay, Jerry. Now I'm getting my cheese. Jerry jumped on late and said, "What is the cookie cake you're trying?" So we just showed you guys that. We're, we're a little behind. Sorry. Um, KJ says definitely ribeye is the best. What are we on, 20? 20. Hot and spicy. Now we're talking. Just like me. Jennifer prefers petite sirloins. Yes, oh. petite sirloins are really good. Nice. Gail likes T-bones. Make sure you're eating that off the bone because then uh, you get, you the get all the collagen for it. That's yeah. the best way to eat it. Smart lady. And if you're eating a ribeye, the best way to eat a ribeye is buy it on the bone and eat Eat it off. Don't cut it off the bone. Actually eat the meat up to the bone because that's where all the collagen is. The best way you is... You don't want to buy boneless ribeyes. You want to buy them with the bone. The best way is not to eat it at all and to give yours to Rachel. <laughs> September said ribeye is my favorite. Debbie said 100% team ribeye. John likes porterhouses. Oh, nice. Those are the giant ones too, right? Mm -hmm. I remember my brother was saying that the best steak he ever had it was one of those like giant tomahawk what are those the ones that's like 
huge tomahawk steak. Yeah. James said, oh, Lord, gadgets. I told Nev no more gadgets were out of room. Oh, I've been told that, too. All I do now is take the gadgets and pile them, like, up on top of the bar. Or they move out to the garage until I need one. And now I'm taking up shelves in the garage. He's shifty. He knows how to work the system. Or you do what I did with the water cooler. So we got our Berkey water filter. And I wanted to make sure I had enough room to have another gadget on my counter. So I built a big giant floor wood stand on rollers so that when you want to fill it up, it just wheels over to the sink. Nothing like Joe wheeling his water bucket around every morning. It's a three and a half gallon water cooler. Uh, Jerry said, filet mignon is the only steak I eat. Ew. MJ prefers New York steaks. Nice and tender. Yeah. Uh, Debbie said, hey, Keto Chow, I am fabulous. How are you? Miriam likes filets covered in butter. Ooh, nice. Yes. I always, I do like it topped with butter at the end. Taste, it's very tasty. That Chef Shammy butter is really good, too. Chris said, I only eat a ribeye if they don't have prime rib. Again, too many years of not eating prime rib. I've got to make up for it. And a prime rib from a sous vide is rib. absolutely nuts. You got to eat all the prime rib. Yeah. I mean, honestly, ever since we got, once in a while, I will make a steak without putting it in the sous vide. Only because, like, we didn't bother putting it in. Because it does take over an hour. Yeah. But... Rachel almost never wants a steak unless I sous vide it anymore. It's you know, so either good. sous vide or if you don't have a sous vide, reverse sear it. It so, tastes like a restaurant. Yeah, put it in your oven, two hundred and like fifty degrees with the temperature probe. You're gonna get it up to that temperature of like one hundred and twenty eight, one hundred and twenty nine degrees. Then take it out and just quickly sear it on each side. It's the same thing as a sous vide, but the sous vide is actually even just a little bit more top to bottom, same temperature. But after doing that, I don't really want it any other way. It, it just tastes, it takes a lot longer. Very fancy pants. Joe said rib, ribeyes and hanger steaks all the way. Don't really care for New York strips. Okay. Uh, Tara said yes. I like I like to make a compounded herb butter. I store it it's sliced in the freezer and it lasts forever. Oh, that's a smart idea. He said pre keto. I would always freeze my Twinkies and Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies. I always like everything frozen first. It's so, I'm so weird. That, But it works with like the smart cakes. Like, I love them right out of the freezer. Uh, Katie said, I ate my Nui Snickerdoodle. Uh, no Snickerdoodle flavor, but like the new chew that they formulated. We have not yet eaten that one. Yep. Uh, Nev said, no package thing tastes anywhere as good as just making it yourself. Yeah. Right? Very true. Uh, Debbie said, I had the chocolate topping keto chow today for the first time. What on earth? Why on earth was I waiting? I know. I told you. It's so good. Chocolate toffee, I think, is the best. Although today I had salted caramel and it's very tasty too. I didn't do salted caramel. What was it that I was eating? Pumpkin spice. I told you. I'm using up the bag. Why did it taste like salted it's, caramel it's to me? It's pumpkin spice. It's on the bag. It's on the counter. You're getting that again tomorrow, too, because I've got about two scoops left in the bag. Two scoops. I may even mix it with another thing and just be like, I'm going to be my mom growing up where you mix everything. I mean, it may be like two scoops of that and a scoop of something else all mixed in one. Blender. I don't know. Like, speaking of two scoops, it reminds me of cereal. And I don't know if, if you guys saw our Instagram stories today, but we oh, ran into yes. the breakfast cereal that shows that the standard American diet has really tipped its hand. So we went to Big Lots and... I remember, I forgot to get something in Big Lots too. They had seltzer water because nobody has seltzer water on sale by us. And they had some like seltzer waters for $3. Some like no name brand. Uh, but no name brands. I found cereal, if you didn't see it on our Instagram story, and it is Sour Patch Kids cereal. Part of a healthy breakfast. So, and when it even says like all your vitamins and minerals on the front, really? like a full day. And so you think? I was like, I got to check this out. And I go over and it's big lots. So, you know, everything is like whatever they happen to have. And they don't have any bags of Sour Patch Kids, but they do have the Sour Crawlies. The, the Sour Crawly Worms. So I the movie theater box. Yeah. I picked up the box and I look and there is more sugar in a serving of Sour Patch Kids breakfast cereal than there is in the entire box of gummy worms. Candy. Yeah. Yeah. Like sour gummy worms, which means it's extra sugar because that's what the outside coating is. We're not great about watching commercials. 
but I can just think how hilarious would that commercial be when they, you know how they do with the breakfast cereal and they put out like the bowl of cereal and a glass of orange juice and milk and they try to convince you like, get your day, you get your child's day started right with a, with a heart healthy breakfast. Of Sour Patch cereal. Of Sour Patch Kids cereal. Uh, Tara said the new E formula is much better now. Oh, good. Trucker said Rebel Creamery makes, needs to make single servings. Every time I buy a pint, I need, I eat the whole thing. I am in agreement. The, I completely agree. What I do like is the ice cream bars that the the keto line that was it Enlightened has. Yeah, that's the one thing. I mean, I prefer the uh, Rebel Creamery because of better ingredients. Yeah. Uh, but... There's something about those enlightened bars one right now. Bar. I can grab one and I'm not going to overdo it. I would yeah. love to see Rebel, Rebel go into those bars and have those bars, especially now that they're in so many grocery stores. Yeah, me too. Yeah, Chris said hire somebody to portion it out. We actually pull out the scale. That's the only way I can do it. I will I have not to let eye it. Joe get it for me. Because yeah, I'll be Rachel, like, Rachel oh, one is, more spoon. as she's scooping it out, she's like, wait, a spoon for me. Yep. Now 85 grams onto the scale, another spoon for me. Here's 40 grams for Joe. Oh, wait, another spoon for me. And now the the four-serving pint just gave us two servings. And that's how Rachel does that. Uh, Heather said, I always eat the whole thing. Yeah, usually what we do is, because we only do dessert usually once a week, is we just do a pint and we cut it in half and we each have a half of That pint. bite of that cake thing is not, not counting as the breakfast. Uh, Thanks. Jerry said, I really like the snooker, snickerdoodle cookies too. They're chewy. Uh, Heather said, our extra stuff goes in the basement. Smart. We need to build one of those. Then it would never come out though. Then it, you'd just yell at me for buying stuff and never using it. Well, and it would probably also be below sea level. <laughs> the key to kitchen gadgets is they all have to be on your counters at all times. Otherwise, you never use them. It's an out of sight, out of mind thing. It's like some, you forget you have it. It's like some of my shoes. We need to have them all out. I need a bigger closet. See, Tara bought a shelf for the dining room and just expanded her gadget space. Brilliant. Liz said, "Enlightens Keto Collection Butter Pecan is way better than Rebels version. It is, but it's also got the questionable ingredient of soluble corn fiber. Yeah, but it's tasty." Um, Miriam wants a photo of the Berkey stand. I will put a picture up tomorrow. Oh, nice. It took me literally like 20 minutes to build it too, like to, to actually put it together. And then I painted and stuff. I mean, I just kind of threw it together. So I didn't go back and sand it after the paint. At one day I will sand it down and then repaint it again. But we just, I did a very light sanding and spray paint. But he but didn't it came tell out me. really well. He didn't tell me that he was like shellacking things in the garage. And I went out to change the laundry and was like, whoa, you get that hit of like wood finish. Yeah. And if you really, if you have a bunch of table saws and stuff, which I do, but again, I was pressed for time, you could actually build that entire stand for less than $10. Nice. Because all you need is a couple of two by fours. I actually bought like pieces of pine that were one by two and two by two so that I didn't have to trim like them down. Like But if you, have a t if you have a table saw, you can rip down all the pieces and with two $3 pieces of two by four, you could build that stand. All I hear so in I your spent directions like, is I spent like, like 20 Joe, bucks. Joe, 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 Joe. I spent like $20, but you could actually build it for like $6. Can you imagine a table that I would build? Let's see. One half would be over here. <laughs> so, Would you trust anything valuable on James top of that? James wants to know where we got the advent calendar with the cheese. Uh, Aldi. Aldi's. Is it Aldi or Aldi's? I think it's Aldi. Go to the Aldi. The There's office. no S at Aldi's. I guess because people are always saying Aldi's. Yeah. Apostrophe S. Uh, Katie said, I tell the server at Longhorns to get me the fattiest ribeye they have. Mm, that's a good direction. Chris said, Joe, wheeling around a water bucket somehow reminds me of a dung beetle rolling a ball around. Yes. Every day. I still want to get Rachel. Every time I think of a beetle and a ball, I think of Kopi Luau. Uh, oh, the coffee. Ooh, that coffee. And one day I am buying that for Rachel for Christmas or our anniversary. That coffee. That's the my anniversary present. Poop coffee. Who has anybody ever tried it? It's like a hundred dollars a pound. I'm curious if anybody's tried it. Somebody, I guarantee you, somebody's tried it. The coffee. Bitch, Chris has tried it. Why? Why? I don't know. I just, Do you think, I just that think he's so. the crappy coffee guy? Uh, Liz said, "What is your Berkey getting rid of? What do you mean?" Uh, what are we replacing it with? Bottled water? Oh, uh, yeah. So we do have a, um, what is it called? A... Kangen? 
Yeah, it's, well, it's not a Kangen, but it's like a Kangen, where it, it brings, it changes the pH of your water. But it filters it, but not super great considering how bad our water is We here. should take pictures of the top of that oh thing. My he was gosh. showing it to me today, where, like, when it first goes in and then it comes out. And it's, like, the difference between, like, pond water yeah. <laughs> and, like, crystal clear water. So we're using the, the pH water, like, still for, like, if you're filling, like, some cooking or something like that. But mostly, like, that water is great for cleaning your vegetables it's and it's really good for like cleaning your countertops. You take the acidic water, it smells like bleach. It really does. But there's no bleach in it. And it's great for cleaning your countertops. But we got the Berkey just for drinking because we do go through a lot of water, especially Rachel's trying to drink more, Caleb's drinking a lot more water. And we're at that three and a half gallon thing of Berkey, I'm refilling it every single day right now. Yeah. That's how much we're drinking of it. The four of us are going through almost. And we got a really good deal. A they had I had found it hidden on their website. It was supposed to be like a Black Friday only and it wasn't advertised anywhere. It was like you had to find it by and running around the rules on their website. And it was the Berkey filter, the Royal, which is three and a half gallons with the fluorides four one liter bottles, glass bottles to, to so you can put cold water, you know, water in your refrigerator and then four more of the half a liters glass bottles. Half a liter. And it was like 300 bucks, which is an insane price. I know it sounds like a lot of money, but that's an insane price for the Berkey. That's an insanely good price for the Berkey. So. <laughs> Uh, Debbie said, I used to make a standing rib roast for Christmas. I have always wanted to make a standing oh, rib roast. Oh, yes. That feels very special. Okay. Uh, Liz likes to dip meat in blue cheese dressing. That's what I like. I love dipping meat blue in blue cheese, cheese dressing. Blue cheese dressing on a burger. Hey, that we, is the way you eat a burger. You, we have a blue cheese recipe that... Yes, yeah, if you if go you on have our website. Not tried that yet. Yep, if you go on our website, there is a there is a recipe for blue cheese dressing. Super simple to make. It uh, is so all good. All you have to do is it's blue cheese, sour cream, mayonnaise, and then a couple of spices like black pepper and stuff like that. The longer you let it sit, like if you can let it go overnight, it's awesome. It's so hard. Find it. He has to make a double batch of it because it's so hard to let it go. It's so hard. So if you if you like his crackers, crackers and dipping some of that in the, that blue cheese dressing is my jam. Can I move these down? Yep. Yay. Go ahead. So Jerry says smart cakes are good. Rachel's I learning how to use the computer. Are you guys proud of me? Um, I also like their pumpkin spice muffins. Yes, their pumpkin spice muffins, like that are giant, like a big breakfast muffin has have really replaced those old dunkin donuts pumpkin spice muffins for me i think i'm going to use vanilla keto child to make my peanut butter nut uh fudge wow katie that's awesome um yes stephanie said she had the chocolate toffee today and she needs to buy a giant bag of it yep. yes chris i need snickerdoodle Put it, Snicker please put Snickerdoodle on sale. I am out of Snickerdoodle. Oh, okay, so Debbie did the whole do your keto chow and then swoosh the coffee in the bottle move. That's the way to do yes. it. Yes. And if you don't have any coffee, just put a little bit of water in there and shake it, and at least you get like a keto chow flavored water. Pumpkin spice is lovely mixed with mocha or Snickerdoodle. Mm -hmm. I haven't done that. Tara is I mean, awesome as a I, mixologist. We have never tried mocha i've never tried the mocha keto chow i don't just mocha just never really interested me well i like it because coffee but i always never but a big it. bag of it yeah no i haven't tried no i mean like but i know i just i yeah, we've never I bought it because it's what is mocha it's chocolate and coffee Ooh, donna got her chocolate toffee in the mail yesterday but i'm out of snickerdoodle awesome Wait, wait, wait. You missed somebody said something about ribeye. Oh, Chris said, I sometimes do them for two, for an hour or two. It's a big cut, like a brisket or a prime rib. I'll do it for 20, 24 to 48 hours at 132 degrees. Nice. Um, I sometimes watch sous vide everything on YouTube. I have, we'll have to check those out. Like, yeah. because there's so much you can do with a sous vide. Like the vegetables, the eggs. There is. I mean, it's really awesome. I tried hard-boiled eggs in it. They were okay, but it's just so much easier in an instant <laughs> Like pot. Chris is saying, nothing blue cheese could be good. <laughs> That's not true. That's how I used to feel, for real. Jason said, crack dealers, uh, cereal companies on every corner. I just could not believe, like, what are you doing with Sour Patch Kid? I, I honestly think that would be gross. <laughs> 
Sorry I'm late picking up the grandbaby for SeaWorld. Don't be sorry about that. That's exciting. That's awesome. Debbie said cereal is such a racket expensive for pure sugar too. Come on, people. It is. I mean, it's cereal was not cheap. I can remember the kids would want different things and it it was not cheap. Cereal it's not it's garbage and you're having to pay a premium price for it. Uh Liz wants sour patch keto chow. <laughs> well, uh, you can actually do that. Yes. Vanilla keto chow. Yep. And OOO Drops actually has a, like, sour gummy flavoring. Isn't that wild? Terry said, no wonder the cereal's in Big Lots. Sounds like a sugar coma. I know. Miriam said, Sour Patch doesn't sound good to me. Katie said, no enlightened bars here in southern Indiana and very limited flavors of Rebel. Uh, Dying to try the chocolate cherry. Yeah. Chris said, portion the ice cream with a knife and quarter it and put it in a little bag. That's actually really Chris smart. Chris is too smart for That's me. super smart. Uh, let's see. Janice said, I used to love Chex Mix junk at Christmas time. I think you could probably use different seasonings on crackers and stuff. Oh, no. My, my, my Chex Mix is the, um, at the Keto Farms. Yes. Keto, that Keto Farms, I mean, that is my thing. I mean, those Keto, and we just got two more in. Well, I like that one, and I, I'm not a big fan of the bacon one. I don't, the bacon one, like, I'm okay. So I've stopped ordering the combo one. I, I wish they would get rid of the bacon one. Bring back the raspberry Gouda one. Right. So right now they have three kinds. They have the strawberry one. They have the jalapeno one. That's the one you like. And then they have the bacon one. The bacon one's okay. I have like one or two bags. But that strawberry one, and especially, I don't know if you guys have seen the reformulation of them, the size of the They're strawberry. They're like giant dehydrated I'm gonna, You do questions. I'm going to go get that. I just opened a bag. We have, oh, Heather says they have no counter space. Oh, Vivijay is on his way down, but in traffic. I am going to apologize right now for all of the Florida traffic. And Florida is super long. It usually takes about eight hours for us to get out of Florida. Um, Terry says, I just found a quesadilla maker as I was clearing that I totally forgot about. You could probably still like warm stuff up in a quesadilla maker, right? Oh, yeah. Just use a, just use a like, that. So if you guys no. have not tried this stuff, if you go to our favorite things, it's on our Amazon store. This stuff is awesome. It's really good. And hey, are you opening up my Christmas present? No, this was my bag. Okay. But look at the size of the strawberries that get out of my hand. <laughs> it's. Will you but stop? It, I'm trying it, to focus on the camera. I know, but I want one piece of each. Look at this. Look at the size of the strawberries they give you now. I gotta give me my bag back. This, I just opened this bag. Hungry, he says, butter pecan. Look at that. Look at this. We went over this yesterday, Joe. What? Pecan. This stuff is so good. Oh, you, people are saying for Vivijay to drive safely. Yeah, so if you like trail mixes, this stuff is awesome. And so we just got in a box of the strawberry and a box of the jalapeno and like that's literally um, we're wrapping it as a Christmas present to each other. Christmas presents. Doll says I, j I finally put my toaster away. Been keto since last February. That sounds like something that I would totally do because it's just there and I just ignore it and it stays out on the counter anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um... Ann said, I made Chex Mix every Christmas. My dad always made it. When he died, I took over. This is the second year I'm not making I just can't make it even for a gift. I'd cave. Aw, well, you know what? I like having, um, knowing exactly what my boundaries are. <laughs> and that was, if that was interesting today. So we were um, at the grocery store and Publix had some pies on sale. And so my mom looked at me and said, should we get some pies for like the grandkids? And she says, but I'm worried. I don't really want them because I'm afraid I'm going to eat them. And I'm like, well, then we don't need to buy them. Like, There are don't enough get keto desserts that, you know what, they can have that. I'll, yep. I'll make our keto chow chocolate pie. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I'm going to make chocolate toffee. I may make it a different flavor. But don't have something in the house that you know is yeah. going to be a problem. We're going to make that. I may make a pecan pie. And then um, 
You could bring him some smart cakes. I got a ton of smart cakes, that yeah. kind of stuff. But there's lots of options out there. But she, I like that she had just said, let's just not even do it because I don't want to have the temptation. I really want to enjoy my Christmas. And either I'm going to be like focused on, oh, something I'm not supposed to be eating is over there. And right. it's going to like interrupt me being present for Christmas. Or I'm going to cave and then I'm going to feel terrible. And I don't want to feel terrible on Christmas. Right. Chris said, fun fact about Noah's Ark, if you actually read it, you'll find that there were two of the unclean animals and 14 of the clean animals. That is very true. Um, well, they had to have for both, for, for sacrifice too. Janice said, Walmart just marks checks clearly down, hard not to buy it. Good I job, Janice. I am so Janice. Proud, proud of, of you. you. Just like scooch right on by there. Uh, Miriam said, set yourself up for success. What else has been, has, uh, what else was something that he liked that you can do to remember him? That's really nice too. We like to also get out like some family albums and take a look at old pictures and laugh of, and you know, retell stories and stuff like that. Yesterday was the 40th anniversary of his passing. Oh my gracious. Um, let's see. Uh, Chris said, I think the coffee smells like burnt popcorn. I can't stand it. I sat in a puddle of hazelnut <laughs> coffee on my way to work once and I smelled it all mm, day. That's not good. <sighs> Uh, let's see. What's on your shirt? Oh, it says, oh, snap. Oh. Heather said, starting my ice cream now. Jamie is making an egg salad with some blue cheese crumbles added. Yum. Wow. I love that. Janice said, your blue cheese dressing is great with wings. I just, can't, I can eat just the dressing. That is honestly why I don't make it. Because, As like, much. I, we literally, the last time we made it, I, I don't even remember how much, I think I made like a triple batch. I mean, right? Was it, I mean, and we, that much. We, I, I know this, we used 16 ounces of sour cream to make it. That's how much I made. Gone in three days. Yep. Well, because everybody likes it. Everybody likes it. And I'm like, do you realize the amount of like fat and goodness that is in there? Like that yes. should have lasted us a week. My and like, tummy. You guys didn't even let it sit like the proper 24 hours to pick up all the flavors. And I think, we, what did we use? We didn't even use blue cheese in it. We used gorgonzola in it, which gorgonzola I think makes the best blue cheese. I think it does too, which was weird. I did not know that that was the thing. Right. It's, so yeah, we just can't make it because... Nobody can resist it, just hold himself to like one tablespoon. Jennifer's proud of me because I'm trying to, I'm starting to figure out the computer thing. <laughs> I was so afraid to like, if I touch that, am I going to turn the whole thing off? Chris said computer is so easy. Even Rachel can format it. Yay. Well, hey, I got in a lot of trouble because Rachel had a, um, what was it? A MacBook Air. And it only had 128 gigs hard drive space. And she could not figure out how to save to the cloud. Right. And Rachel has a bad habit on her phone, too, of screenshotting everything. Right? I do. So, like, she finds these pictures because she wants to put nice messages to people on Facebook and stuff like that. And she screenshots them. But she never deletes anything. And so you picked up her MacBook and everything was just like the whole screen was just screenshots of weird things like happy birthday emojis and icons and cards and everything else. Like the entire, all of the memory was just filled with junk, stored everywhere. Well, no and problem, because Joe was going to come in along and fix it. Nothing. So I said, have you been storing your documents in the cloud? She goes, yeah, I think so. I so don't know. I'm like, the only way we're going to fix this properly, because she'd mess with it so much, is just reformat the entire computer, start from scratch. She never saved anything in the cloud. And so lost, like all, now fortunately a lot of that stuff I actually have on mine as well. Like when you wrote the Vacation Bible School, the VBS bugs, the bug stas tastic that we How wrote. How about a college course on every book of the Bible yeah. that I had done? <laughs> like That one, but at least we have it in writing. Well, the Old Testament. Yeah, but we have it in writing at least. Thank goodness, because I thought, but, oh my yeah. gosh, we're going to have an Old Testament killing. <laughs> so after after that fiasco, because her if the whole idea was her system was really old. It was like a 2011. I'm like, it's time to update your MacBook. And so... With the new iPads, the iPad Pros, they're more powerful than the MacBooks. Like yeah. the chips are incredible. Like my my Mac, my iPad 12.9 inch can render a 4K video faster than my desktop iMac. And you lost me. Is that so, good? 
Yes, that's better. It's good. Okay. So that's what we ended up getting her was the iPad. I'm like, because now you have to store everything on the cloud. And then just um, get the keyboard. Yeah. So actually, that's what this is. It's like a hard keyboard, $35 on Amazon. It works great. It looks just like a, like a MacBook. It charges. It works great. Is it okay to close that? Yeah. I only, I'm only using it to make sure that we were like on live. Oh, so. okay. Uh, Ron Ron said, hey, Ron Ron. Said hello, everyone. I finally hey, caught Ron, up. Hey, Ron Ron. Uh, Miriam said she's going to send a snickerdoodle for a high five. Give Miriam a high five. We're on a snickerdoodle. High five. <laughs> I don't know if that was to me or not, but. High five. Uh, Debbie said, I'm going to make French toast out of the Smart Cakes pumpkin muffin. Ooh, Ooh. man. That is brilliant. Why have I not thought of that? So. Man, why have I not thought of that? Because I I even slice it in half would make the perfect like little buns. Yep. Uh, Nev said, yes, I do the coffee in my blender cup. James did water. We both agreed that that would be our trend. Yeah, you've got to get every single drop of that keto chow out of the container. The keto chow shake. Ann said, I had salted caramel today. My husband had cookies and cream. I thought I had salted caramel, but apparently I had pumpkin. Dahl said his uh, dog is barking at our bird. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, he is a, a loud mouth, especially this time of day. Yeah, it, well, it's certain times of day. So African greys, where well, most birds are their loudest early in the morning and at night. And do you know why? Because they're calling to their friends. They're looking for their flock. They're, they're letting like, their flock hey. know where they're at. Especially African greys who generally feed down on the ground. So they would normally jump down off their trees, down onto the ground to pick their seeds, and they call for their flock to let them know where they're at. So. He's a stinker. Uh, Janice said, I thought I ordered the chocolate mint last week, then I realized Monday I forgot. Uh-oh. Uh, somebody's making the blue cheese with feta. Ooh. Debbie. Yeah, it, it actually works really well with feta. Is it better with feta? Katie said, who, who, was, who was it that had info on a keto event in Kentucky? I can't locate it online. Um, it's Autumn. Autumn. Well, Autumn. And Watch Autumn Keto is trying to organize an event in Louisville. Keto Palooza, yes. I believe it's called. Chris said, everyone is pretty much just going ADHD all over the place. Want to chase rabbits? <laughs> uh, Joe said, have you found enlightened bars in South Florida? I can only find the pint... And then it's only the donut and the peanut butter fudge. No, I, I have not seen it in the store. But we honestly don't go to grocery stores a lot. You so can order them online. You can order them online. I think that we have a coupon code. We're not affiliated with them, but they did set up a coupon code for us. Yeah. I think it's two crazy ketos. You'd have to go back to find the enlightened review. And there's a coupon code. And they did tell us that they were going to leave that up. And again, we're not affiliated with them. No. But they just... But if you, you know, can get a coupon. If you can get a coupon. A coupon. It saves you a little bit of money. But I have not seen it in the stores. But again, we don't go to the grocery store very often. And I did And we do, today. it's like in and out. It wasn't in and out today. Uh, Nev said, I want to try the cheese at recipe and maybe add a bit of garlic and chives to the dough. Yes. Oh, John says that Publix in, this, in Central Florida actually do have the enlightened Okay. Bars. So if that's the case, so if one Publix has it, that means they can get it easily. So just... <laughs> Go to Joe Goody, go to the manager in your Publix and tell them you want the enlightened bars and they will get them. They will order them. So. Uh, Chris said that the strawberry in the keto snack mix is actually bigger than your head. That's giant. I'm just, I just opened this bag. I tried so good I'm to crushing not your head. eat the whole bag. I'm crushing your head. I literally ate half the bag already in just today and in, in like the last hour. Oh, I should take it away from you. No, because you'll eat finish it. for it. you. And that uh, Miriam said, I need to try away. the Keto Farm stuff. Challenge accepted. It Challenge is accepted. really... How did you it's not really try it? They were across from you at KetoCon. They were directly across their booth. We were taking up all of her time. <laughs> uh, Tara said, Columbus and Cincinnati traffic was a nightmare last night. It took me almost five hours to get home from my meeting, and it usually takes two. Oh, man. I'm sorry. We got to get caught up here. Tara said, I love the strawberry keto farms, but I wish they would bring back the raspberry. Yes. Get rid of the bacon. Bring back raspberry. Did I just see a kid jump out his window to avoid coming through the live stream room? I think Caleb jumped out his window. God bless him. I just saw a kid go that way and Caleb was in his room. That is dedication. I think he went out his window. <laughs> he is going to a Bible study, though. Yes. Like, it's not like he's, he's not sneaking out his window to go on a date. He's sneaking he's, out his he's window not running to go on away a Bible from study. home, as far as we know. Parent goals. 
September said, what size ice cream maker would I need for a serving of keto chow ice cream? Sounds amazing. Uh, any of the normal size ice cream makers, like whether you get the ones where you stick the bowl in the freezer or the compressor ones like I have, like uh, there's one that you actually, we should give that away since we don't use it. Let's do it. Um, we got to find all the parts. Okay. So we actually have, the, if for those people who have the KitchenAid blender, the um, stand mixer. Yeah. We have the attachment ice cream container for it. Yes. Where you put the bowl in the freezer. When we bought it, they gave it to us for free. But I'm just impatient. We've used it once. Yeah. And then the problem was, is it made enough ice cream for one person. Which would be Rachel. Yeah, because it was a Rachel size serving. And Joe's like, I'm tired of never Now I got to wait cream. 24 hours for ice cream. <laughs> priorities so yeah but any of those just because it is almost doubles in size you get a lot more when you put it i just like the compressor thing because i can literally put it in there 30 minutes later we have ice cream and then we can immediately start a next batch that's the one reason so I you're like only that. 35 minutes behind yeah my ice cream instead of 24 or, hours or what you do is i make a batch rachel gets half of it yeah i get the other half and then we start round two and then by the time we're done with the first round, we're on to the next one. Round one. You just have to be careful so Rachel doesn't play spoon for me, spoon for you as she's dividing it we back We still up. don't let Rachel dip it. Uh, Liz said, Chris, uh, will Keto Chow ever be sold in regular grocery stores? Not sure. Um, Kids, don't make me stop this car. <laughs> I love that. Nev said, Mother's Gotta Love and found out mine uh, after mine dropped me off yesterday. She went to Sonic for ice cream. She didn't want to buy and eat it in front of me. God bless her. Like, that, that is awesome. so awesome. You know, that that's just love. That yeah. says love to me that, you know, somebody's trying to support you in what you're trying to do. That's awesome. Heather has the Cousinart one or Cuisinart one with the freezer bowls and it only takes five Cousinart. to ten minutes. That's just how I grew up. Julia said, does anyone have a recommendation for a reasonable ice cream maker that I can make keto chow ice cream in it? Um, so we have to put the other one, the, the Cuisinart one, on our thing. But I know there's one that Carrie Brown talks about. Heather could put a link on it if she if she has the link for it. I think it's the Cuisinart one, and it's only like 40 or 50 bucks or something like that. And again, that's one of the ones where you put the bowl in the freezer but Carrie swears by that one. Yeah. And says it's awesome. She just has like five of them. You right. Know? Maybe that's something to do is buy a lot of them. Buy more than one. We just had one. But, but we got such a good deal on Prime Day. We paid like $130 for our compressor machine. Normally they're like $240. Um, Ice cream maker. Best money we could ever spend. It was. Thank you. Chris <laughs> got me to buy that one. Uh, Chris said, there's a bunch of major issues with retail sales that opens up the market, but we would lose a lot of control over customer experience and we needed about $10 million. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we talked about that. You know, I love Chris, I love Miriam, I love Keto Chow, but there's something about their customer service. You're going to lose I mean, that. You guys <laughs> are you so awesome. Just the fact they had this holiday challenge. And what do I get in the mail today? This little like one cup cup measure with a silicone spatula and some electrolyte drops and two chocolate samples to be like thanks for participating i'm like i had fun participating yes i'm kind of like not saying very nice words as i'm making something and it's not coming out right but the last thing that they need to do is send me a couple of samples for participating in their challenge Should like we get that? Yeah, we're. It, it, I have to double check with them. I just want to give it away because I don't need it. I have so much keto chow. But More stuff to give away. It just shows me. But that's the customer service. I mean, and I feel like they're going to lose that. And like so many companies do when you get into a store. And you can't help it. I don't think that anybody wants to have the quality of customer service go down. No. It's just, it's they, just something that happens when honestly, other people put their hands in best the... Best customer service that I have seen from a company in a long time. Yeah. You know who else has really good service is John at Keto Bars. Yes. But again, it's a tiny company. That's why. John and Jared and Misty, Alterna Suites, great customer service. You can... Well, I mean, you've talked to her at like 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I don't think she sleeps. Yep. Lollies, another one with really good customer service. I mean, just, yeah, I love it. Listen, I make keto chow ice cream in a ninja blender. That's I, the other way. If you have a good immer a good blender, like a ninja or a Vitamix, Vitamix, we have a video on how to do it, and you don't have to wait. It takes 30 seconds. It is a little bit of trial and error and getting the ice. It took me a while to figure it out. Four ounces of liquid. Now, if you, I use usually like four ounces of heavy cream. 
and then I take a two cup Pyrex cup measure, fill it up to the top, all the way to the top with ice. You put that in there with your keto chow and it should come out perfect every single time. But if yeah. you put in a little bit too much ice, it won't blend right. Right. It's it's just, once you figure out exactly how much ice to liquid you put in, it'll come out perfect every time. It's a delicious trial and error process. The only reason that I don't make it that that often is because it uses, he when we do it that way, we use heavy cream. And I would rather use butter. And the heavy cream adds the carbs. So we, a lot of times we do it with butter and just put it in the ice cream maker. It's a little bit more like an ice milk because you're using butter instead of heavy cream, but good enough. Uh, Miriam said, I bet Joe has his ice cream maker on his page that you can click through to, to Amazon and buy. Yes, it is. Thank you very much, Miriam. Uh, Jenna said, Amazon has a small dash ice cream maker. I like I, how Tebby said, 10 million, Chris? Is that all? Um, I think the dash one, I've heard good things about the dash one, but it's not going to fit a full keto chow. Oh, it's going to be tiny. It's going to be tiny. Uh, yeah, Chris said, it's something that really needs to have an expand uh, explanation of what it is. It's extremely difficult on a retail package. Video idea? Uh, Tara said, I'm Camp Rachel. I never delete screenshots either. It cleans up my mess uh, every January at our annual sales meeting. Oh, wow. Usually Rachel's phone, like I know you're out of memory on your phone right now. I know. And so what happens is, is in the middle of the night when she's not looking, I grab her phone and just start deleting everything. <laughs> what am I going to do with all my lost Star Wars memes? Uh, Trucker said, I'm going to have a big cheat day on Christmas and enjoy a time with family and get back on track the next day. I do a cheat day once every two to three months to enjoy myself once in a while. That and is there a is plan. Nothing wrong with that. The best thing you're doing is plan. you have a plan. What you don't want to do and what we we'll never see recommend what is someone go, hey, yeah, I'm, it's going to be kind of a fly by night. Who knows what I'm going to do? Go into it saying, I'm, this is a cheap meal, this is a cheap day, and tomorrow I'm right back on track. You know what happens when I fly by the seat of my pants? My yeah. behind is sticking out half the time. Like, it's not a good plan for me. I want to get caught up so we can hang. End Plans up. are good. Uh, Miriam said snickerdoodles on the way. Thanks for the high five. You guys do not have to do that. You really don't have to do that. Um, I'm just waiting for it to go on sale. <laughs> yes. There's a savory, savory one this week. Yes. Uh, I have like three can, three bags of that from the last sale though. Yum. Terry said I accidentally screenshot everything and then I have to go through and get rid of them. The worst part with an iPhone is when you screenshot. Now it screenshots whatever you have plus the original like screen with all the little icons on. So my you mom. The double one. My mom has pictures of herself, pictures of the inside of her purse, pictures of the the home page. Oh, and then that's the other thing that fills Rachel thing is when you do selfies. You don't just do one selfie, right? You got to take a hundred selfies to find the best one. Yeah. But then you never delete all the other hundred selfies. Yeah. Right? Why don't you just delete all the other ones? Same thing when you take pictures of the kids. Like, we'll go someplace, let me take a picture, and you snap like 50 of them, find the best one, delete 49 of them. But there's 48 other pictures of my babies. He said, I want a CPA full novel into the chat to see if Joe will read it, but Shelly won't let me. <laughs> That's awesome. We Speaking of novels, we were talking about the differences. Me and my mom were talking about the differences between an older person using a text message like and a younger person. So the younger person is trying to see how short they can make the text message. Like most of the time, things from my kids are just like a thumbs up or, you know, question mark or something like that. But my mom uses the text uses her phone almost like a dictaphone and she's it's like a paragraph that she's just talking into her oh, her know. phone and you get a text message that's like it's funny watching a 70 year old woman not type on her phone but use siri to dictate i never use siri every time i, I use siri today. to dictate something it like ends up being something wrong and then i send the message and then i look at it afterwards because like i use siri to dictate in the car yeah and like, of course, I'm driving, so I don't even read. I'm just assuming Siri got it right. That is a terrible assumption. Siri never gets it right. No, and so then you send a message out, and the recipient is pretty sure you're drunk. Yes. So Miriam said they never left the booth at KetoCon. They only talked to us. Mm. And Keto Con and uh, Keto Conduct. Yes, I love them. I can't wait to see them. Yes. We'll get to see them now. We'll see them in April for sure. Yay. 
Katie said, having Christmas without kids tomorrow, the non-ketoites will be having lasagna. I am thinking ground beef with cream cheese stuffed into a pepper. Oh, that sounds really good. I love ground beef with cream cheese. Like, I could eat that every single day. Chris that and said, egg salad. you guys forget at KetoCon, I barely had time to go to the bathroom. It was so busy. We're doing a double booth and bringing staff and influencers for 2020. That is smart. Yes. I mean, yeah. yeah. Oh, I know. We... We didn't see, when we went to KetoCon, we didn't see one speaker. We just went home and watched everything on, like, YouTube and stuff yeah. like that. Because we just enjoyed, I don't even think we went, we didn't even see every booth. No. There are, I found out there were booths there that we never even saw. I don't think we ever got, we went down the last aisle, and then we went down, like, the first two or three, like, where Chris and Miriam and Alternus Weeds, and other than that, we just talk to people. We had a blast just talking to people. But That's it was what's fun so about busy. conventions. But I, you, yeah. But you know what was the problem is not only were they giving samples of keto chow where you could drink it, but they were making like the pudding. Oh, and I've got I've got wow. more Cindy's thing. We need to make that too. That was good. Uh, Katie likes hearing the bird in the background. It's she. He's such a loud mouth. Uh, Debbie said it took me forever to get to your booth at KetoCon. It was always super packed. Liz wants to know if Chris would go on Shark Tank. Oh, yeah. Um, Heather said, yeah, the ice cream maker is the Cuisinart, the Cuisinart one. I can't, I don't know about Chris on Shark Tank because sometimes those those people aren't nice. Mm -hmm. Like, especially, what is that Mr. Handsome guy? I haven't watched it. I don't I, like I him. I briefly caught Jason from Peely Nuts on it. I don't like the new staff, the new cast that's on there. I don't and like when they're mean to the Chris inventors. actually just put, I really enjoy watching Shark Tank, but the valuations they have on there are a bit nuts. We have two friends, Nui and Peely Nuts, that went on there. I don't think we'll do it. I don't, I don't, that Mr. Handsome guy is not very, No. I don't know. There have been some really good products that came off of there. Remember the scrub, the scrub daddies and scrub babies? I love those things. There have been some really good products that came off of, off of there. I will give them that. Uh, Lisa said that function is available on my phone is on my laptop when I do that. Um, Miriam said Carrie has two of those ice cream makers. The woman's kitchen is stocked in awesome things. I, I think bet. she said she actually is up to five is what she said on our live stream. Now. I bet she has an awesome kitchen. She sent me like a awesome email this morning at like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. or something is like she, that. Isn't she on the road? Well, she was getting ready. to. She's driving down to Georgia. She was just checking in. And uh, she's like, if you guys need anything, let what me know. What a sweetheart. So don't forget, you guys can go sign up. There's a link down below. You can go sign up for her program. If you sign up between now and uh, December 31st, you save 20 bucks. It's $79. And it's a good idea. That is the cheapest like program that I've ever said, especially when you're combining Carrie with Kim Howerton and the recipes and the shopping list and the meal plans and the private Facebook Zoom meetings and all that stuff. So, because a lot of people ask us, like, hey, are you guys having a meal plan? Or are you going to do this? Why like, bother? Why do it when there's somebody that's like so much smarter I'm, than I'm us? I'm serious. Doing it. I'm signing up myself just to see what it's all about. Yeah. Uh, Nev said, I'm feeling keto chow is going to be my new addiction and the one that I definitely will not mind having. Uh, yeah. Debbie said, small businesses are the best. Yeah. Uh, Chris said, listen to the John Hart with Keto Bars interview for Keto for Normies podcast. I think the guy is awesome. He is awesome. He really is. Uh, Miriam said, oh, thanks for saying nice things about us. We try hard to be, treat people the way we want to be treated. That's why we love you guys. Yeah. Yvette so. says, so good with heavy cream. It Chris is said, so did you see cream. the new video? How do you dip glucose strips in soda? Actually, I did. We were going to talk about it on Keto on the Couch this weekend because it was. It was a really good video. Well done, Chris. Uh, John said Dash makes a quart size ice cream maker too. It's oh. in a bowl in the freezer. I didn't know that they made a bigger one like that. I like their um, the architecture of what they're making. It's always cute. Like Liz cute wants to know where you got yesterday's Christmas hat. Amazon. I bought it last year on Amazon. No, no. Are you talking about mine? Yesterday's Christmas hat. The one with the the tree. Wait, I got it from uh, Five Below. The one with the tw the twirly thing. I bought those on Amazon last year too. Oh, did you buy? Oh, that's why I have two of them. Yeah, because you uh -huh. and I, we should have three if you just bought one because I bought it last year when we did our Christmas, when we did oh, our Christmas yeah. day and you and I both wore them. So you can find them at Amazon or and five, five below. below. So, <laughs> uh, Jamie said, Keto Chow has the best shipping time too. I'm a new customer. I've never been, I've, I've been super impressed. That's awesome. Um, Katie said, Carolina Keto Bakery, she is amazing. That's the other, that's the other person she we found. Sweet she is as awesome, she can be. Um, Let's see. 
Miriam said the shipping service has been dying this Christmas season. I feel bad for them. Call the company and have them look at the order. I bet they'll take care of it. Yvette asks, is the Keto Child Challenge supposed to help you lose a good amount of weight? Uh, it's going to, the biggest thing about the Keto Child Challenge is, is when you do that, you're not eating anything else. So you're limiting your, you know, any variables and you're getting all of your electrolytes. Your weight loss is going to be dependent on how many calories, just like anything else. You know, I can do a beef and butter fast and gain weight if I eat 3,000 to 4,000 calories of beef and butter. So what I would tell you, if you're going to do the Keto Chow Challenge, you know, figure out how many calories you want and then limit your butter to that. Figure every Keto Chow, with the exception of chocolate peanut butter, and mm -hmm. Chris will correct me if I'm wrong, it's about 120 calories, 125 calories. Just the powder. Just the powder. So if each you scoop, do one scoop, one scoop. So if you do three tablespoons of butter, figure each shake is going to be um, about 425 calories. So if you do three of those throughout the day, you're at about 1,300 calories. Rachel does four tablespoons in every one. So at the end of the day, she's at about 1,600 calories drinking three. And if you're eliminating every other variable and not snacking, you should lose weight. Yeah. But like not having snacks and peanuts and almonds and all that it's a stuff. good way to reset after the new year or after a period of time i liked when we did it when we came back from keto con because we had tasted so many snack foods when we were at the convention i sort of needed to get back to not doing that because mm -hmm. when i came home i was like hey we're in the middle of the afternoon i would like to try you know a bar and some nuts and cheese and how about like some yogurt and you know i didn't want to do that when we were done with our you know vacation wanted to come back and get back on track and keto chow really helped me do that right uh, yeah, Debbie said Kai 2 was on Shark Tank. Yep, Super Coffee was on there too. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Katie said, you guys are awesome and you don't need Shark Tank. Uh, Miriam said, you just made my day. I'm imagining a cute lady chatting away about her new hip. Aw. Uh, Debbie said, what about what about a Patreon thing? <laughs> Everybody wants you guys to like just build. Yeah, because it's such a good company. Heather said, I highly recommend Carrie's Happy Healthy Keto Program. Uh, Miriam said it was awesome. Uh, a Keto Mom just had Parmesan and pesto swordfish with ribeye. Oh, my goodness. I'm coming over to her house. Heath said, I'm OCD about sweeping all photos off my phone to the laptop every day, then from the laptop to the external hard, time, er, hard drive every few months. That's the gentleman you'd like to be married the to. The one thing I don't do is I have no backups of my photos. I used to, but they just started building up so much on my hard drive. Isn't, I need to download them and re and back them up. Right now, all of my photos are in the cloud. Isn't that and what we don't print Facebook anything. is for? If Facebook goes down, I will have no evidence that I've had children. Yeah, because children. she doesn't even put them into the cloud. She only puts them on Facebook. That's probably not smart. Chris said, like a Kickstarter, I'd rather save with the cash and do it without any hassle. He said, no more like a VIP program. Uh, Chris's videos are on Keto Chow. Or, or you can find them on YouTube. Yeah, so Keto Chow has a Facebook. If Heather could put a link to that, that would be awesome. And so, yeah, so Chris... Most of the videos are, what he does is every Tuesday when they do their live, it goes up on their YouTube channel the next day so you could watch the live. And then he puts up like lots of silly videos like how to heat up keto chow in the microwave. How to check the mail. How to check the mail. Most of them are jokes back and forth between me and him. <laughs> so um, Chris said they are launching a, re launching a rewards program in a few weeks. Oh, nice. I didn't know that. Um, let's see. Ooh. The, Amy made the keto chow fudge this week. That is actually another request for my mom. Fudge. Oh, fudge. Make fudge. the fudge. Make the fudge. Chris said, for the record, I'm not trying to dominate the discussion or direct people to keto chow. I just like to troll Joe so much. Yes. And we love you. I mean, and that's, guys, we would not even talk about keto chow if we didn't like it. No. I, mean, I just, I, we really enjoy it. You've seen it. us thrown and things. more importantly, I enjoy it. Chris and Miriam, even if, I mean, even if we weren't like using it, I would want to hang out with them all the time. They're just awesome people. They're just And awesome. he's super knowledgeable. And so is Miriam on keto. Very knowledgeable. Of, like they can answer a lot of keto questions, not just questions about their product, but they've just researched a lot. They, Chris has done his research in order for him to be successful in his own health journey. So it's like we get to benefit from that knowledge. 
So uh, Nev said Hillary and I did three tablespoons of butter in our keto chow. I honestly don't know how I've lost 99 pounds since January. So I am so lost where my macros should be. Uh, I'm like Jack Sparrow's broken compass. Aww. Look at what Stacy Quirk says. My day has been great. Just came from Christmas a Christmas party where we sponsored three families. Pure joy watching those kids open their presents. That is awesome. So I meant to say, so today was Bless the Cashier, which is my favorite day of 12 Days of Serve every year. It is my favorite day because cashiers just work so hard and they get beat up so much this time of the year. So People are so frustrated in line. I went to Wawa. We, Anthony and I went to Wawa in the morning. And then after we were done with work, I have three coupons for free subs. I got one for my birthday. I got one as just like a special one. And then I got one because every $50 you spend at Wawa, you get a coupon for something. So I'm like, I'm just going to get myself a sub. Which you can make a salad out of it. So if you have Wawa's or any of these places where they give you something free, what I do is I go in, I order the sub on the machine because it's not for a salad. And then I go up to the girls and I'm like, hey, can you just, no bread, put it in a bowl. And they're awesome. And I, I had a little, I had a sub for a little one. It came in a bowl this big. I mean, it was like it's a really giant good. salad. I don't put any dressing. I bring it home. So I went up to pay for everything else I was getting. And I said to the woman, there's this nice little old lady that works there every morning. And I was like, hey, I need a $5 gift card. And so she brings it up and she's like, you know that you can pay for the gift card with the Wawa gift card because then you can earn the coupon for every $50 you spend. And I'm like, I didn't know that. Thank you very much for reminding me though. And so after I was done, I handed her the gift card and I was like, have lunch on me today. And then I went and talked to the manager of the place because, again, we, we go there every day. And I asked him how many people he's got, does he have working on Christmas morning. And he said he's got seven working Christmas morning. And he's like, most of them are not very happy about it. I mean, as you would and he's like, not be happy. And a lot of his family were on him that like, what are you doing? He was like, unfortunately, he's like, Christmas Day is, he's like, it is our second busiest day oh, of yeah, the year. Oh, yeah, because pe- a lot of people are on the road traveling from yeah. one person's house to another. Even just so friends across town. what Rachel and I are going to do, and Anthony wants to come because Anthony goes to Wawa every single day, is we're going to go up on Christmas morning before we go to Mom's. I don't know what time we're supposed to be at Mom's house, but we're doing this first. Yeah. And we're going to buy everybody that is working the morning shift a $5 gift card so they can buy lunch for themselves yeah. on Christmas Day. So that's what we did for Bless the Cashier. We're doing it twice, but. But I heard all kinds of like. There were some awesome stories. Just awesome stories. And thank you guys for sharing them. It's really, it's blessing not just us, but all of the people that are reading it. So make sure whatever you're doing, just hashtag it, the Coastal 12 DOS and. 2KK 2KK. Okay, let's get, there's a couple comments, then we're going to hang up. So Steph said, Chris, you and your wife are a true blessing. Keto Chow is the best ever. Um, Miriam said, get chat books and they will automatically send you a photo book of your photos you share on Instagram. Oh, wow. I keep my kids' photos on my personal Instagram just for the chat box. That is very smart. Okay. Chris said, I'm really good at regurgitating facts. Some of them are even true. <laughs> Joe said, Star- saw Star Wars twice today. Keep your tickets for Tuesday. Yes. My brother said, definitely go and see that, Rachel. I'm not. And, and then he, he ended it by saying, I'm not telling you anything, so don't even ask. Uh, Chris said the advertisements for chapbooks were done by the same team that did the witch ad and squatty potty potpourri fiber mix and purple wrappers. Yeah, I want poopery. I love that stuff. It's on sale at Costco. And it's currently this minute writing the next one. Uh, Amy said Miriam is so good. Thank you for having a holiday challenge. I got the idea from Christy Davis who shared the recipe. Nice. Um, and Miriam said I can't wait. We are seeing uh, Star Wars tomorrow morning. Awesome. Okay. Rhonda said, thanks for the suggestion for keto, keto peanut butter and jelly. I just tried it on rebel salted caramel ice cream, and it was delicious. Good. That's the last Glad. comment. We're caught up. Yay, we so, did it. Uh-oh. Just a reminder. Don't forget. Don't forget. On Christmas Eve, 9 a.m., we're going to do our live stream it's for the, Christmas Eve. It's the same picture. We're giving this away. Okay. What you have to do is go to yesterday's live stream. Not I done. I will put a link down comments. below. The one yes. that says December 19th. I love it. And co- leave a comment on yesterday's live stream to enter into a chance to win this. The immersion blender. The immersion blender. The keto chow. Bundle. And the uh, blender bottle. Blender bottle. And he just left. 
uh oh says we and are so i'm having not a wonderful done time but balls <laughs> i love how debbie like in the middle of it just went balls miriam and chris can we give this away do you mind if we give this away? Do you mind away? if we give this away? We don't want to hurt your feelings, but we're going to ask you if we can give it away. Just so we can. We want to bless somebody else with pass it. Pass it on. So, Chris, in the midst of all of your two million comments that you're putting. How cute is this? Look at this. This is so handle. awesome. It's a little cup measure. I'm assuming that there's some electrolyte drops in there. There's a keto chow sticker. There's a couple Look things of chocolate toffee in here. So, now we stopped commenting. Commenting, whistling while you while you were. Whistle while you Love were. you, Joe and Rachel. Everyone da, da, have a da, blast da, da, night. Da, da, da. How long how long is Keto Chow Challenge? We're gonna do it for 30 days. We're gonna do it for the whole month of January. Start in January. And we're doing Uno. We're not just doing Keto Chow though, we're doing Keto Chow and Keto Bricks. Yes. Kind of so break we... it up. So yes, you can give it away. Keep the note. Yes, we will absolutely keep the note. I'll let you cut that off. Later. Yes. Okay. So Leave a comment on the replay for today. This one. And we'll give it away tomorrow. So just, it's a, it's not, it's just a little something. There's uh, electrolyte drops. This little nice, ooh, it even says keto chow I on know, it. that's what I was trying to point out. It says out. keto Isn't chow that on it. A keto chow cup measure and uh, the electrolyte drops and two things of chocolate. So definitely if you haven't tried keto chow, you want to try it? Yep. Free so is the best way to try. Head on over to the replay of this. It'll be up in about 20 minutes. Leave a comment and we'll give it away tomorrow. So we love tomorrow you guys. is at 12 noon Eastern time. Yeah. So got to hit it before church. Do you want to just give it away on Sunday since tomorrow's going to be a short day? No. no tomorrow. So very few people even get to do it. So <gasps> that's good. Good chances. It. See everybody tomorrow. Bye. We love you.